Hello Pisces and welcome to the second part of your winter solstice reading 2022. This is where we're going to be reading your chakras and your aura uh, and uh, getting a message from the Earth's energy for you. Uh, these are new types of readings. Uh, this plays much more into the work I do as an energy healer. Um, and they are going to be uh, a featured part of this uh, channel uh, from January 2023, but we'll be going to go into a lot more depth. What you're getting today is a um, sort of almost like a glimpse in through the shop window of what's in the shop. Okay, so um, yeah, let's just, uh, without further ado, let's just connect to the energy line that's here. That's absolutely peachy. There it is there. And we'll bring up what we call our chakra man. There you go. So we have the head up here and then we have the body coming down here. Therefore, we got the chakras that go out there and the aura, which is around there. OK, so let's just jump straight in here and see what's going on. Just getting an overall feel of your. Hmm. So the plexus is particular. I'd like to have a look at that. Okay. There's a crown. Well, that seems to be... Um... Okay, there seems to be a lot of emotion in the crown as well. So you might be bringing up a lot of emotions within your thinking, which is not a good idea, to be honest. Um, you know, the mind was never good for, was not really uh, created for emotions. The emotions are mainly in your body because you, in order to uh, have a reflection, you've got to have a sentiment about something. And in order to have a sentiment, it means you have to have a sensation for something. Therefore, you've got to feel it. And brains don't feel a thing. Uh, so uh, that's mainly the logic there. And it's I think it's ladening what would be in French would be like a like a water jug that's really heavy on your head at the moment. There's a lot of emotions that seem to be tied in there. But that seems to be the first month. But it's also that winter period that you're going into. So it's not the easiest time of year for you. January, January and February is not the easiest time of the year for you in general, sort of um, uh, Pisces. So let's just have a look here. So we're going to go straight into your solar plexus. So your solar plexus is very, very sharp, very, uh, very well defined, almost too well defined, almost razor sharp. Your determination can be very cutting in its... I'd like to have a look at your sacrum. That's not too bad. But don't forget your pleasures in life. But I would be, be a little bit attentive for your stomach area, your intestines and stuff like that. Look after it a bit over, over this period. Let's just see if it changes over time. Well, it does get a little bit more sort of softened over time, over the next sort of month, two months uh, period. And then... Oh, yeah, that's when it get the <laughs> February anomaly by the looks of things. So it becomes a much more, you know, like you've got like um, daffodils. And some daffodils are classic daffodils and stuff like that. And they're, they're quite a sharp trumpet sort of shape. And then you also can get daffodils that are almost, the petals are real sort of, you know, like um, duck feathers. And they're a little bit sort of like ruffled and stuff like that. And that's what it becomes like. A little bit more sort of warm and appeasing and stuff like that. But just be careful of your your determination in the first in the first section of the equinox or the solstice season or the winter season where you're you know you know, just be careful of your determination and your um, and the sharpness of your um, imposition upon yourself more than anything else. Just be a little bit gentle with that. Your heart seems to be full, but non-expressive at the moment. And I think that ties in with the crown chakra as well after that. Um, it's sort of um, 
Yeah, it's sort of, it seems to be a lot of emotions that's running to your head that your heart's not really dealing with at the moment. Maybe that's got to do with that two of swords there, that the decisions need to be made according to your heart. Let's just see what's going on on your third eye in your throat chakra. So there's a lot more thinking in this beginning bit. Let's just, I'm just going to go back to the heart for a second. I just want to see how it progresses over time. Oh yeah, there's that watershed. And then that's it. All of, all of a sudden it becomes very functioning. Um, and I think that's around the end of, uh, in the start of your birthday season, at the end of February, going right through your season, it's almost as if like your heart just kind of goes, okay, stop messing around. Let's function. Uh, let's enjoy. Let's, uh, you know, uh, don't hold on to all those emotions. Let's just see what's going on in your third eye and your throat. Because that's how so you got your third eye, is, which is naturally longer than the throat chakra, just slightly longer. Because uh, the throat and the third eye are the same chakra. It's like one is the back and the other one is the front. And it just gets folded over like that so one's behind you and one's in front that's how like if you look at the solar plexus is like that the same with the heart but with this case it's just actually folded over like that so then you've got the two chakras there but actually it's only one chakra and it plays a little bit like a trumpet or trombone sorry and um so it starts off where you've got a it's a little bit more on the third eye so you're mulling stuff over which is normal within your autumn period it's a normal position to be in, but your throat goes less and less because it starts, rather than expressing your emotions, which was the Queen of Cups, which is trying to encourage you to do, you're more putting it your emotions within your mind. And I would be wary of that a little bit because that can cause sleepless nights. It can cause anxiety. There's lots of things that that can cause. Um, and as it goes on in time... Uh, it flicks back to being completely in that normal sort of like and that's in the early part of February and it's almost as if it's like uh, now I have to focus now I have to function you know within the world and then it becomes more expressive after that and I think this is where you start realizing a certain calling within yourself and that's when you can start expressing those ideas of that calling that is going in from you your sacrum, now this is to do with your desires and uh, your, your your hobbies and pastime and pleasures, what you do for yourself. Um, this is also to do with the ego as well, but it, you know, the ego is not necessarily a bad thing at all, like anything. Uh, like the heart can be also jealous and, uh, you know, uh, that sort of thing. So, or envious. So, you know, there is bad sides to everything. But here, so within the ego here, and I think it's what your desires are, are tied to you as a person and what you can get the best out of life for you or or um, evolve your spirit and learning and your knowledge, your understanding with life or spirit, or love, or relationships, or even work side of things, a lot further on, because the sacrum goes up. There is a thing where, you know, there is a little bit where you're not giving yourself enough time in life, uh, but it's not too bad. It's sort of, it's, it's not bad. I've seen a lot worse. Um, but yeah, no, it's good to actually follow that to sort of resource yourself and recharge yourself over this two months like that. Let's just have a look at the root chakra now. Could do with a bit of work on that to be grounded, but then again, you've got so much laden within your crown chakra that because the crown and the root are actually the same chakra. So the crown is like the front and the root is the back of the chakra. So it's if you start work on one, you affect the other. And if you start grounding a lot more, you're going to start tightening off, which is going to allow a lot of those emotions to come out. So that's probably a good idea for you to do. It's not the easiest thing to do either, uh, to e explore your emotions and allow your emotions to be forced out of you in a way. But I don't think it's a good idea for you holding on to them either. So I think, you know, uh, meditation or doing activities that ground you, 
in the here and now, in the getting on with other people and doing and just being part of the life, the continuum of life. Uh, but, you know, also sort of grounding your 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 energy uh, and you can use uh, male lines to do that, uh, you know, sort of round sort of Stonehenge or uh, Stonehenge or, or um, megaliths or, you know, or sort of churches and stuff like that. You're going to try, you're going to find those sort of male lines and, uh, you know, just sort of like, or just connect your, your, your root and just almost like two corkscrews, just sort of like gradually tightening everything up and it's going to pull everything through you like that which is going to then your 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 crown chakra which is a little bit like that and it's like a bowl that's holding far too much water in theory it should be like that sort of like like that sort of like 45 degrees as a sort of inverted pyramid in a way um and because it's like that and as it gets pulled by the root chakra it's going to go to that which is going to make all those emotions come out. And I think that's probably a good thing for you uh, to do that over this period here. So it gets completely sorted within you. And um, by the time your birthday period comes up, uh, you know, that's you're going to be able to really sort of shrug all your worries off your shoulders and just go ahead and live. Be absolutely brilliant. Let's just see what's going on on your aura. There is a thing going on with mental conflict. So I would be wary of mental conflict and competition. Uh, mental conflict is sort of saying, oh, I just don't like George the way he does that. And George is not even there when you're saying it. You know, you're thinking this and it's like you're creating this, this sort of conflict that is not actually really happening. It's only happening inside you. But... It's like energetically throwing out a boomerang. And as you throw it out, kind of go, and then you go, George, take that. And you throw out that boomerang and eventually it comes back and whacks you on the back of the head. So, and then you think, oh, George is throwing sticks at me. And it's not, it's you throwing sticks at yourself. Um, so I would, at the end of the evening, just take five seconds out and just look at, the, you, you know, the most poignant things that you thought about during the day, good and bad. Uh, and for the things that you don't want to be involved in, you can just sort of say, that thought about George, bring it back. I don't want to get involved. Just bring it back. And you can bring that boomerang back to you so you don't get it, so you're not actually causing detriment to your energy, uh, bringing your vibration down. It's easier for them to you to just go ahead and explore life and uh, go forth and conquer, basically. <coughs> but apart from that, you're always not too bad. It's a little bit closed, but then that's not closed. I mean, as in tight. Um, it's a little bit tight, but then that's simply because you're in that last three months before your birthday. So you're still organizing, what do I want to do next year? What I don't want to do next year? So it's your energy turns a bit slower. You've still got enough energy within you. You don't really missing any energy, but it's it's just the... It's the um, it's the litres per hour <laughs> that is a lot slower. Uh, but you've still got all the energy that you need. Uh, but it's just turning over. It's like a river when its river goes down. You know, it's still rolling as a river. But, uh, you know, there's a... And it's still wide like the river. But there's, there's the height may be a little bit less. That's all. Um, so you've got all the energy that you need. But it's a good thing to sort out for your going future. Let's just see um, what the connection is to the earth energy so there we do there we go just connect to the consciousness to the energy line let's just get a reading for pisces please water can cut their way through granite and it just takes time, patience. You know, the earth is telling you to be patient with yourself. And I think that ties into that solar plexus as well. And I think you should start expressing your emotions a lot more. Um, or 
you know, with the people that are around you. Allow those emotions to come out. The world here, the Earth's energy is trying to sort of say, um, you don't be surprised at how powerful your waters are. Don't be so surprised about how immensely powerful your your emotions are, uh, and they can cut through anything if you if you allow them to just gradually, slowly but surely open up. That should be, you know, um, it's a good thing for you. For them, this is a general reading. So, uh, you know, it's, um, yeah, just holding a little bit in too much is probably not a good idea. It's probably going to give you indigestion and and abdominal, abdominal problems. That could be anything to do with your gallbladder or... Uh, you know, things such as that, even your liver, you know. So don't put that stress on that sort of side of things. Take it off. Take off that stress. Okay. Uh, as I say, these blueprint readings, we're going to be doing more in January. And we will be um, choosing a subscriber uh, 